Hello YouTube, I am here today to bring you a new phone the, from Cricut Wireless. It is called the ZTE Score. Right there. Smartphone. Uh, this is on Cricut. Uh, uses their Move Music service, which I'm not using because I think it requires an upgrade to the plan and I'm not going to do that anyway. Comes with a 4 gig SD card and uh, 3 gigs is used for Move Music and uh, the other 1 gig is used for you. And so it's 1,000 minutes of voice for 55 bucks a month with unlimited texting and unlimited data and all that unlimited stuff. Anyway, this package is already pre-opened by me, but all the stuff is in its proper place besides the charger that was really hard to get back in. Um, so I'm going to open this up. Oop. Anyway. So... Here's what you got when you first get the box. The phone's in there. I've already used this phone. I turned it on once. I downloaded a few apps. Didn't do much. Uh, so, here's the phone. The phone is actually really heavy for a phone. And the screen is plastic, but it is still very responsive. Um, yeah, the back has some kind of glossy thing fingerprints. Uh, I still have the screen things on. I'll take those off here soon. Um, so, let's get into the box. Not very special. Got manual. Mm, that one's in English. Here's a Spanish one. I know we all need um, Spanish booklet. Spanish. It says it gives you headphones. Which <laughs> these headphones? Oh man, they suck. Alright, and more Spanish stuff. So, this is the best part of the box, right here. And you got your headphones, which should cost about 90 cents. Alright. There's the whole box. So, here's the phone. This is a review of the phone. And an unboxing. So, let's turn it on. No, that's not here. Okay. ZTE. Of course, it's China. ZTE is actually becoming very popular in the U.S. Yep, there's me, according to my iPod Touch. New music from Cricket. Yeah, the speakers are okay. Uh, not as good as my Sanyo Zio, but the Sanyo Zio sucks overall anyway. <coughs> so... Alright, now we're into the phone, kind of. Alright, I have a live wallpaper on there. And the phone is still starting up, so it's going to be kind of unresponsive. But not really, actually. And there's Facebook, YouTube, I have a, another web browser on here. Alright, so you got back button here, menu button, home button, and search button. Alright, so let's take a look at the preloaded apps. You got Move Music, YouTube is preloaded, uh, The Market, Cricket Mobile Web, Facebook is not preloaded, My Account, here's the apps. So you got yourself books and camera. Here, the camera isn't great at all iPod Touch is so much better for camera. Anyway, yeah. It's an average camera. I mean, if you really want to take a picture, go ahead, but I wouldn't advise it. Alright, so let's take a look at the Android market. Connected to Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, so... Here's some things I already searched for. Let's search for Zedge. Zedge ringtones and wallpapers. I thought, okay. So, I already have that installed. Alright, so, anyway. This phone, here's the dialer. There's contacts. Alright. This is the random number I'm typing in. So, yeah, there's your dialer. Not anything special at all. Just a dialer. Uh, so... Move music I cannot use because I'm not on the plan for that. 
but you still have access to the Android market. And Cricket service is okay. I mean, I, st I have zero bars in my basement, but also I have two bars upstairs, which is, I guess, okay. 3G slow, but what can you expect? Alright, so not much more I can review about this phone. Got the 3.5 jack. Uh, there's your lock button on the left side and top. Uh, and you got the mic down there. Uh, there's your camera button, so you can just press that and it goes to the camera app. There's your SD card slot and the volume rockers. And where's the charge? And there's the charging port. Now these are kind of actually hard to get open, especially since I have no fingernails. <laughs> so, uh, here's what version of Android it's running. I believe it's running 2.3.4. Let's check that out. I think it's in. Oh, yeah, it's at the bottom. Um, here it is. Android version 2.3.4. So it's running pretty good. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about this phone, really. Um, basically, your standard Android, but actually, this phone is great for the price. I picked up a, a Best Buy for 70 bucks, and uh, of course, I had to get charged the $15 activation fee from Cricket because, like, the only company that does that. But you know. They have okay service for 55 bucks a month, unlimited everything for smartphones. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy this phone as much as I am. And bye-bye. Hello, YouTube. And uh, same video. And I am showing you the ZTE Scores camera. Yeah, as you can see, not very good. Uh, it's adequate at best. And compared to the iPod Touch's camera, well, let's just say that it's not very good. And it keeps on changing colors. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I mean, I guess I guess you can see stuff on there. But, um, yeah, that's the camera. Not very good. But overall, this phone is great for the price. Like, 70 bucks and get an Android and this thing. This is an unbiased review compared to those other people, you know. Anyway, uh, that's the concept, dude. And I'll leave you guys to discuss about it in, in the comments about how you like this phone. I think the battery life is kind of bad, but get your defender and I'll fix that. Uh, so, see you later.